Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy and in today's video we're decorating for fall. The only few things I bought, these two pumpkins were from Dollar Tree. This was from Dollar Tree and then this and then also that because they have a $5 section now. Um, I will do a, like a whole fall decor house tour so right now what I want to focus on is just decorating this room for fall and also the kitchen for fall I'll wait to do Halloween until the month of October so I'm kind of doing things backwards here but that's what we're working with all that and oops I've got some stuff in here I've got some stuff in here this is so cute not this <laughs> this I got it at a thrift store one year and it's looks like somebody just made it but how cute is that especially for in the kitchen so that's what I plan I'll start in the kitchen first hey y'all it's Kimmy from 2024 but right now you're watching Kimmy from 2021 this is the first year on YouTube that I decorated for fall and Halloween so we're gonna be uh, taking a look back and getting some fall and Halloween inspiration uh, and I hope you enjoy this marathon there's gonna be quite a few marathons this week full of fall decor from all the years past so for the kitchen i'm just going to focus on the table right now and then the area that has an open space during my um, around my microwave and this year i'm working with some gold accents navy blue accents and then of course the traditional orange i i don't think i can do fall or halloween without some orange because it's just it's just a staple you know so these I picked up from Poshmark a long time ago and then the little gold plates you see I picked up from Dollar Tree and a lot of this stuff is actually from the Dollar Tree and Walmart and I got these little gold picks at Walmart after Christmas so they were only like 25 cents a pick which is just amazing uh, so I will definitely be sure to show y'all everything after I get finished decorating but I just wanted to give y'all an idea of the theme I'm going with this year I don't know that navy gold and orange is an actual theme at all but y'all know me I like to just decorate how I like to decorate and I also prefer to use what I have first and then if there's anything that I really really want that I feel like is missing I will go out to the store and find it and exciting news I saw somebody do a Hobby Lobby shop with me after um, I had done one and it is already 40% off so if you like shopping at Hobby Lobby but you do not like shopping when they're full price um, definitely see a fear store already has it 40% off because that means a lot of stuff will be at a really good deal and I think it is only going to be 40% off so go ahead go out there we're probably going to go back there soon and see if they have any more navy color pumpkins because I only have two and I would really like to have maybe like three more <laughs> so I can spread them out around the house that way every room in the house has some gold orange and navy blue in it but here is what it looks like when it's done oh, of course I, we're trying our best to eat all these tomatoes but here's how i have it right now um, i did not have four placemats so i just did two table settings table settings i did two plate settings so this is my tablescape for the kitchen also i wanted to let y'all know i'm talking a lot I wanted to let y'all know on Instagram every single day for the past week we have been playing fall this or that so it's gonna give you a ton of decorating inspiration for small spaces for large spaces um, I do not discriminate I want to give y'all ideas for any type of house you have so if you want to follow me over on Instagram it is Kimmy Cope underscore in every evening in our story so tonight Every evening we will be doing the fall this or that and we're going to do it 
all year round. I'm so excited. I want to do it for spring, for summer, for all the different holidays that are just like a one day holiday that people may decorate for. And of course, um, fall and winter decor as well, because I have just been so inspired to, you know, share with y'all decorating inspiration. I love um, decorating, especially because I do like my own thing. A lot of us, we see all these trends of what what we should do, um, what's popular, but y'all know trends change like your underwear should change. Um, so I never really stick to a trend. My house is just like eclectic, I guess. It's whatever I feel looks good. Um, so here's over here in the little cubby where my microwave is and I just have that little pumpkin I put the potatoes in it and then I have this little scarecrow and then I have a happy harvest sign so very cute very simple but we all know it screams fall that I, I just love that simple but makes a statement so I'm watching this back with y'all and I'm taking a trip down memory lane myself and one it's just so cool to see what the house looked like before we did anything to it and this is making me want to make a marathon of the makeovers we've done for any of y'all that are just now coming to the channel that way you don't have to go back and watch all of them I can just make a really long video um, you know every once in a while with different makeovers we've done because if I did a video with all the makeovers it would probably be two weeks worth of footage. <laughs> Alright so I want to show y'all what I have done so far and I think this is all I'm going to do today and then we'll pick back up but over here I still want to get y'all remember in that one video I told y'all I wanted to get something to go over here just to lift this all and you can see my pumpkin looks kind of off so this may be I'll take one of these out and see if that helps I really want these here I don't know. this one is so thick though I got this one at Hobby Lobby and then this one came from Walmart. I'm gonna try that again. Let me put it there. And then I always try to hide the picks if, I, if it's possible. Okay. The picks are not my friend. Well, at least there it's not like wobbled, but there's that so far on this side. Thankful it lies. This is a little corner right there. So I haven't done anything over here. I may not. I may keep it sim simple, simple in this room. And then over here, um, I added the, the pillow that Janice gave me, and then I just added this pillow, which I got at Walmart. I think last year or maybe the year before it's super cute it's just got some birds on it and then over here I have these little planters and I put just some more picks in there these are like some sunflower picks and then in the background those are leaves that um, have a clip on them for you to put on trees or whatever if you do like a fall Christmas tree um, so I just put that in the background to cover up the hook and the black triangle that goes on the top so I think that's really cute and then in the kitchen what all I did was this table these I got on Poshmark these came from Dollar Tree it's from Walmart this is from I think this is from Dollar Tree right there that pumpkin's from Dollar Tree. I love the navy blue color. This, I believe, was from Dollar General. Right there, these picks are from Hobby Lobby. And then, same thing over here. This is from the Dollar Tree. And it's from Walmart. So, what else? Dollar Tree, 
Then over here, all I have is this little Happy Harvest sign, which is from Dollar Tree. Greenbrier International is Dollar Tree. Um, this basket, which I told y'all was thrifted, I put my little potatoes in. I think it's really cute. And then I know for a fact that this little guy is from Dollar Tree and he was about $5. So you can prop him up anywhere. He's got sand in the bottom and it's, part of his legs are really thin. That way he can actually sit down. But that is what I've done so far. It's so cute. I like very simple decorating. By the way, update, this still smells and it smells so good. Hey everybody welcome back or welcome if you're new today we are going to be decorating for fall again this is part two of my fall clean and decorate with me i think this may be the last part that i do so if you missed part one i'll have it at the end of this video for you and also it is in my cleaning and decorating playlist but today i'm focusing on our bathrooms and our bedroom and so i'm just going to go ahead clean up everything take everything out that isn't related to fall that way i have tons of room to decorate and if you're new here i love decorating simply so i don't use a ton of decor um, i just use enough to make a statement that way it doesn't become almost like clutter uh, i just like it to be pretty simple but i also am going to be changing out my shower curtain this shower curtain that I have, I like it because it has all the moon phases on it, but every, day, like for some reason, it makes my walls look yellow. I think it's just from the goldish color in the shower curtain, so I'm just going to switch it back out for this gray and white one that I have. That way, the room looks white like it is supposed to, and it's better quality for y'all, so you don't have to see like a yellow room. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and clean up the bathrooms and the bedroom and then I'm going to decorate and later on in this video I will share with you where I got everything and then um, just a little bit about the items and why I chose to decorate them. That's my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm -hmm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? 
Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood. Then he, he knows how to make it all right. Yeah, I get that he got a history. But I don't wanna think about no other than us. They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us. Mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Why do I need to be good all the time? He's got a bad history, but I want him anyway. So look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. But what about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Okay, present day Kimmy here. I'm just laughing because I dusted this thing till I could not dust anymore, and there were still little specks falling on it. And that is why at this point um, in 2024, if something's really dusty, I will vacuum it first and then wipe it down, and that normally takes care of that. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now So I just got done doing Erin's bathroom and what I did in here was just put this pick which this came from Hobby Lobby last year so they probably they do still have it I remember seeing it it is so cute if it will focus on the pick instead of um, 
everything else. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. Really cute. So I got that last year and I've already had this soap in here which goes well. It's more Christmassy than it is fall but that's fine with me. And then over here I just have this pumpkin. I love this pumpkin. It is super sparkly as well. And this one is from let's see I, th I feel like this was from Hobby Lobby but it I don't doesn't seem to have a Hobby Lobby sticker on it maybe it is a Hobby Lobby sticker I don't know but $5.98 it's not bad it feels like it's not foam it's like it's really hard either ceramic or plastic um, but that's all I did in Erin's bathroom pretty simple um, and all of this stuff can just be wiped down and sanitized, so I'm not worried about that. So our bedroom is where I did most of the decorating for this video. I brought in this pillow that used to be in our living room. It's so beautiful. I got it in the spring collection when Hobby Lobby came out with that this year. So they may still have it. They may not. I don't know. But I think it really goes well with my quilt. It, it's the same color as this and then over here um i just put this pick because aaron has this weird knife skull thing um that he just likes all year it's called goblin core i think like i like cottage core he likes goblin core so just think of a gothic person that's what he's into <laughs> in high school he had really long dark hair and he wore like trip pants and all the like black colored t-shirts and everything cracks me up um but there's that super cute this also came from hobby lobby like i love how sparkly it is okay so that's all i did for right there and then over here i just put um this little pumpkin which also came from Hobby Lobby. I got a whole, a whole bag full of these for like, or a box, a clear box, like you would get ornaments in. I think I paid six or twelve dollars for a pack of them, and it came with this. Y'all know what I'm missing? I'm missing a bunch of my acorns that are sparkly too, but that's okay. Um, I, th I think I'd rather just go small this year and not decorate like a ton. So there's a pick right there. I've just got it wedged behind there. Then this sign probably came from Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I want to go back. I saw one of my, um, I saw Just Missy. I watch her videos. Uh, she does videos similar to me. I saw her go to Dollar Tree the other day and they have so much more stuff than when I went. So I definitely want to go back again and I have a um wall like a door decal coming so that's gonna be exciting but this is all I got here and then in our bathroom let me alright so now we're in my bathroom y'all saw I changed out this curtain the other one was just making the whole bathroom look yellow and so over here I have this harvest sign which says a bunch of other stuff too. I got it from Dollar Tree years ago so I don't know if they have this exact one but I know they have a lot of other signs. And then these are the same um, pumpkins. This one is so funny how they made them look like you know like they were going bad or something. It's green. That's too funny to me. Anyways. I get sidetracked. So I have these pumpkins over here that I also had from that same package in the bedroom. And then this this little pick right here from Hobby Lobby. And then these appear. So same exact foam type ones right here. This is a nice foam too. Like you can see how shiny it is. Like it's not it, it is like just foam and like some kind of weird plastic, but it feels good. Uh, and that one does not hang properly. So over here, just did the same thing. So there's that one and there's this one. And I just borrowed some of these leaves off of 
this pick and put it in here. That way, save time, save money. Don't have to buy another pick. Because I've got it all good to go. Anyways, I think that's cute. It's just the little things for me. Like, I love how simple it is. But it's fall. And I love fall. So Aaron's doing that. <laughs> He's always working on something. And then here's my signs. I need to get something to keep them held down. But welcome. Happy fall. Um I could also just get more command hooks. I use all my sticky stuff though and make them even higher. But I think that's pretty cute. And these are good quality. They're like a canvas. It kind of reminds me of a tablecloth, but not like super plasticky where you could like poke a hole in it. You know what I mean? So. There's that one. I really like it. And then the other one. I'm going to get back further so y'all can see both of them. Alright, so there it is. Look how grown up. <laughs> That's a tree. Um, but I think it's cute. Now I just need to get a reef for the middle to cover up my little triangle. Or That would be a diamond. <laughs> Anyways, it says welcome. Happy fall, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. So today's video is pretty exciting because I'm going to be doing a little bit more fall decor. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what I picked up at Dollar Tree yesterday and what I plan on using it for. I cannot wait to be able to turn that thing off so y'all can actually hear me. <laughs> but my Dollar Tree is now, I think y'all said it's called a Dollar Pop or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyways, it, it merged with a Family Dollar so we're getting a lot of family dollar products now but i got this little scarecrow girl i'm gonna put on the front door so we're gonna decorate with that then i got this right here which was only a dollar i'm gonna decorate on my tear tray this i got to go outside this was also a dollar and i'm thinking about putting this let me go show you Okay, so instead of putting it really up close to the trailer, because our trailer sits up on a hill, I thought it would be cool if I put it down there at the end of the driveway. That way, the other few people that live off of this little drive right here will be able to see it. And I want to go get three hay squares. <laughs> um, two for this to go in between it, and then I'm going to put some pumpkins on the squares. And I'm worried I don't want people to actually steal my pumpkins. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going to do that. And then for the tear tray also, I got a lot of these navy blue flowers. And then a lot of these orange flowers. Because y'all know my theme this year is orange and navy. I just love it. And then I got this little fox. Now he was $3. I love the bead detail right there. 
and then I got these little sparkly picks so I'm going to use that for this tier tray and I'm going to do somewhat of a coffee theme oh also totally forgot I'll be right back all right I also have this which I picked up at Dollar Tree and it was five bucks and that's going to go on my tier tray as well and then oops I have some more of this little um I think I got that at Dollar Tree too and they have something similar to it now this little home pillow and then there's this little pumpkin that was from the Dollar Tree this little orange thing right here I got some sparkly acorn or pine cones some more leaves I got some rocks okay so we are good to go I've got all of this stuff but first I am going to straighten up the living room i need to dust vacuum and get this laundry <laughs> folded and then we can do the fun stuff which is decorating for fall Water here because I use it to water my plants but I'm gonna move it over to dust and now I'm gonna take all this stuff down that's the only thing I don't like about decorating is when you go to clean you have a lot of stuff to move <laughs> but that's okay it's still fun the big stuff in there first and then once I'm done putting the big stuff in I'll go ahead and use my filler items to just kind of fill it in of course make it look cooler and all put together and then I try to hide these little bars that go down as well
Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday So here it is. I'll give y'all like an up close in a second with some music to it. But oh, it's so cute. It's so weird like whenever you're decorating, especially a tear tray, it's like this looks terrible for a while, but then it kind of all comes together. So there's like my little fairy pumpkin house with the happy fall. Got some pine cones. I use these gold picks. Uh, orange picks to make somewhat of like a fall tree like a withering tree I think that's pretty we've got all my blue and orange and then down here I have this really pretty pumpkin some rocks back there those are actually oh my gosh I can't think of them or well, white quartz um, I got the little fence and then she's sitting behind it on a pumpkin then of course I got a little, little pumpkin spice with my coffee pot right here so it kind of makes it seem like a little coffee station but I don't actually use coffee cups whenever I'm <laughs> drinking coffee I use a big mug that stays hot all day also I just used my wooden coasters just to, to elevate her um, but there it is I think that's so cute and majority of this was from Dollar Tree. The only things that weren't from Dollar Tree was this coffee mug right here, which is so cute. This, I hope if y'all like it, you'll be able to find it. It was from World Market. And then that one down there, I think was from Dollar General. But I don't know. I really like the little tree. I think that's my favorite part. <laughs> okay, anyways, let me show you real quick. Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand So I'm going to go put that 
sign on my front door. Dollar Tree. I mean, she was three dollars, but still, I just when I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. If y'all didn't see the video where I went to Dollar Tree, um, I'll have it linked at the end of this video. But I thought that was so sweet. <gasps> Look at that butterfly! Wow, that is a huge butterfly. It's beautiful. Can y'all still see it? I think she's flying away now. I always think it's so nice to see little things like that the butterflies so that's super cute i'm gonna wait to put my um pick down there until i actually get the um hay bales to go with it and the pumpkins so i may need to go to walmart or like tractor supply to find the hay bales Today's video is a Halloween decorate with me and it is pretty special because it is in collab with one of my friends Megan. Her channel is Love Meg. If you've never checked her out before, she is full of homemaking and cleaning inspiration and motivation. She does some lifestyle content as well. I'm sure a lot of y'all have already heard about her from now, but if you haven't, I would love for you to go check out her Halloween decorate with me as well. Megan goes all out when she decorates, which is why I love her decorating videos so much. She is a mom of two. She has a boy and a girl. And like I said, she goes all out. So every time she does decorating videos, I'm just in awe of the things she comes up with. She's got some DIY she's going to do. I've already seen some of her clips, so I can't wait for y'all to see her video as well. to my channel my name is Kimmy and I do a lot of similar videos as Love Meg does do cleaning cooking shopping all sorts of stuff let's go ahead and jump in to this Halloween decorate with me so this is all of my Halloween decor I kind of went overboard but it is gonna be so much fun so what I'm gonna do is actually empty out this bucket right here and I'm going to start with the bathrooms and the bedrooms because they are the smallest so I'll go ahead and put whatever decor I think I'm gonna use for those three rooms in this bucket that way it makes it a lot easier on me I don't have to keep coming back in here and finding stuff and then we'll do the living room and the kitchen after that and this year we are doing a Halloween tree, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I was at the wrong place. Throughout this video, I wanted to give y'all some decorating tips if you have a small space and you still want to 
do a lot of decorating and I hope these ideas are helpful for y'all but the first one we're going to go in our guest bathroom and all I'm going to do is use a small pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree and then I'm using a hand towel that literally took up no space at all because I just added it to one of the baskets that was already in our bathroom but it was just enough that it expresses Halloween and it's still really pretty as well. So I think all I'm going to do for the guest bathroom is this little pumpkin right here that I got at Dollar Tree and then this hocus pocus hand towel right there. So that's all I'm going to do in this room. Erin's really the only one that uses this bathroom anyways. I like to call this Erin's bathroom and then our main bathroom in our bedroom I like to call my bathroom. So this is Erin's bathroom and I think that is just good enough. To a small bar with neon lights Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now the Next thing I want to do in here is work on these little planters I like to use them for decor um, Not just for planting plants Because we do have a small space So using your walls will help you have more decorations but without taking up a lot of space so I have these decorative shreds from Dollar Tree they had them in the black and orange and then I also have these picks that I'm going to put in there to make it more Halloween like Don't wanna be shy. So here's the bathroom. We just have this gray and white curtain right here. So I got the Believe in Magic hand towel on this. Then I don't have anything on this side because that basket's already there. So over here, I still am using this Mango Matcha from Bath and Body Works from this summer. So I'm just going to keep using it. And it is orange, so that makes me happy. But here's this pumpkin if you've been here before you know i'll this is like my favorite little pumpkin ever and i always tell y'all it was 5.98 i swear i got this at hobby lobby but it, it could have been like a big lots because i'm pretty sure hobby lobby's stickers say hobby lobby then this came from the dollar tree and it was only a dollar and i think that is so cute. It's got little sparkles on it as well, which are kind of hard to see. But if you had a candle sitting here in front of that, especially when the light's off, um, it would look so cute. And then these little planters right here, I just put that stuff in there and I kind of wanted it to hang out a little bit. And then here's, I love the jack-o'-lantern. I think that's, it's creepy, but also cute. And you can see it's just in there. I did have to cut the pick a little bit short so that it could fit and not, you wouldn't be able to see the stick part of it. But I think that's adorable. And then the witch's hat right here. And it, it keeps flop, flopping up on me. But all of that was from the Dollar Tree. So super affordable if you're on a budget and really easy to do as well. So. That's so cute. All right, bathroom is complete. All right, now we're gonna work on the bedroom. Do y'all hear the Halloween music in the background? So this comforter is actually printed like that one is up there, but I decided to just flip it over so it would be white. And then I have these 
uh, burgundy pillows right here. I'll link down below in my Amazon store. And then I have the Hocus Pocus pillowcases right there that I'm going to put on this pillow and that pillow. And we'll put these shams on the two pillow shams right there. So this will look really cute. And then I have, I was really hoping that these would kind of go together. And I think they do. And then we'll decorate that little, the top of the table right there. And then I'll also do something right here. I may have to find another spot to put all my perfumes. My next tip is to buy pillow cases instead of buying new pillows. So I was actually guilty of this when we first moved into this mobile home. I would just buy every year for each season i would just buy a new pillow and then i realized how much space that takes up when you go to store your items so the tip is to get pillowcases they are so much easier to store and then they don't add any extra clutter to the room because you're just covering up what was already there and i love this this blanket it's actually a coral color but it definitely is pulling orange right now i decided i wanted to tie everything in at first i did not have that uh, burgundy pumpkin over there i just had the witch please sign so i was like well this pulls in with the witch please sign but then i need something else to match with my burgundy pillows that way everything ties in together so even the black on the Hocus Pocus in Salem room goes with this sign right here with the black pom-poms. And this is, I got this at TJ Maxx. It actually is like a padded, it's like a pillow inside of there. But there's that Witch Please sign. And it's kind of like a farmhouse, boho theme. So it could go for two different types of home decor. And then this pumpkin right here, I also got at TJ Maxx. I love how sparkly it is and it's it it's good for a bedroom because it's also very romantic as well so put that there and that kind of ties in with the pillows which the pillows are showing up a lot brighter than that but it works and then there's these I also picked these up off of Amazon because I got a set of four anything that I show y'all in the video that I can link down below I will and I just want y'all to know they are affiliate links so I earn a commission off of it but it doesn't cost you any extra so it would be just like if you were looking it up online except for it helps out my channel a lot because then I'm able to buy more decor and stuff like that off of Amazon to show y'all so I think that's all I'm going to do for the bedroom between the bedroom and the bathroom in here I really don't think we need anything else over here these I'm going to use I'm going to carry these with me these were leftovers from the bathroom but between this room and the bathroom I think we're good so the next room I'm going to decorate is I think we'll do the kitchen next because I have a lot of decor. I have a lot of decor for the kitchen but I feel like the living room is going to take me the longest because we're having to decorate the Christmas tree and I have not even put the hooks on the ornaments yet. So this may be a long video. I don't know. In between me and Love Meg's videos, y'all are going to have like a full day of Halloween decorating inspiration. So I hope you love it. Red button. Even no. if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing. That cracked me up. I had to leave it in. <laughs> I was having to send over clips to Love Meg, and so I was getting Aaron to help me film a little for that. And he is he's learning. If it's not a GoPro, he's like, I don't know how to use a regular camera, which is funny because I have no idea how to use a GoPro. So we're kind of in the same boat there. But now we are going to decorate this tear tray. And my biggest tip for tear trays 
is to use a lot of filler items that way you do not have to buy a lot of little knickknacks to put in a tear tray to fill it up that can get a little expensive if you are looking for a more affordable way to decorate a tear tray and it just again when you go to store all these items creates more clutter so what i like to do is use a big garland i got this one from dollar tree and you can just cut it to size and then i also like to put a lot of coffee cups in my tear tray because they take up a lot of space and you can always just store them in your kitchen cabinets with the rest of your cups and just pull them out when you need them and then i filled the coffee cups with the decorative paper and then i do have a few little wooden pieces that i'm going to throw in here and then some pumpkins that i got from the dollar tree ended up putting this tear tray right here beside of my coffee pot um how cute is this the jack skeleton cups came from tj maxx and then a lot of the pumpkins or all the pumpkins actually came from the dollar tree and also everything else in here came from the dollar tree the tear tree is from hobby lobby these are from tj maxx and then everything else was Dollar Tree. I'm so sorry y'all. My slippers are squeaky. Which is brew. And this one says Home Sweet Haunted Home. And I was actually surprised that that one was at the Dollar Tree because of how pretty it is. And then I've just got that garland. I cut it up and put it in there as best I could. I think this is my favorite tear tray I've ever done. Alright, so now we're going to decorate the table and just like in the bedroom where I was giving y'all the tip to just buy the pillowcases instead of the pillows, for the table we're just, I took off the old tablecloth and we're just replacing it with another tablecloth and this tablecloth I actually got at Dollar Tree so I don't know if I'll actually end up storing it this year. It depends on how well it holds up but it is plastic so it's probably not gonna last more than one season but i'm going to decorate the table i also looked really silly vacuuming off the table but it had a bunch of little decoration pieces that had fallen off with a tear tray so i wanted to get that cleaned up before we went on to the decorating i'm out of Breathless. 
Now I'm going to add a few more touches to the kitchen. I told y'all it was one of those rooms that I wanted to kind of go out all, go all out and my goodness I can't speak today. So I have a hand towel and then I also have this sign that says come in for a spell and I'm just going to rearrange these picks and flowers uh, at the bottom of this so it kind of looks more put together. Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless So the last thing I'm going to do in the kitchen is start my diffuser And I'm using the scent Harvest Spice from P&J Trading I get this brand off of Amazon. They come in a bunch of different kits that you can pick out like winter, autumn, Halloween. They have all sorts of campfire. You name it, they have it. So, this tablecloth is from the Dollar Tree. This table runner is actually LED battery powered, but I did not put any batteries in it yet. This is from TG Max. These I use for fall too. They I got these off of Poshmark. This pumpkin was from the Dollar Tree. This one was from Hobby Lobby. And this one was also from Hobby Lobby. These little cups were from the Dollar Tree and I just put the Reese's and the Kit Kats in there so they would go with the orange that's on here and they they have little fingers on them. So that is the kitchen table and then over here this sign is from the Dollar Tree and I just put these two things right there to cover up the gaps because I didn't like the gaps at the bottom. I know it's supposed to be like a fence. I like the different heights at the top, but I didn't like it at the bottom. And then this pick is from Hobby Lobby. And then this came in that set of three from TJ Maxx. And then this is also what I'm diffusing. I have not put my little jack-o'-lantern decal on here yet, but I'm using the Harvest Spice from P and J trading. It smells really good. So all of that that I just showed you plus the tear tray over there is all I'm doing for the kitchen. I think that is plenty in here. We just ate pizza. <laughs> so now we can finally get into the living room which is gonna be the most fun part I think. So the first thing I'm going to do in here is decorate the tree because it is going to take the longest. But I got this skeleton at the Dollar Tree and at first I was going to hang it up on a door or in front of a window. But I forgot to get a tree topper <laughs> for Halloween. So it actually turned out to be a great tree topper. I love it. Then I was messing with some lights and garland but I decided not to use either one of those. But I did get this Witch's Garland from TG Maxx that I'm going to use instead. It is so pretty. It's so sparkly. And it is like a 
pillow as well. I don't know what it is with all the pillow decor, but I'm loving it. So the tip I have for your tree is to use garland like this. It adds a really nice touch and it doesn't take up a lot of space when you go to store your items. And then also I didn't use any deco mesh on this tree, but I do for Christmas and that's another great tip is to fill in all those spaces with the deco mesh. That way you don't have to buy as many ornaments and they don't take a, up a lot of space when you go to store them. got Aaron in here to help me decorate. He said, I'm not any better at this than you are. I'm like, I know. I just need extra hands so this doesn't take me a decade to do. The tree always takes such a long time and I feel like I lack patience when it comes to a tree, but I do enjoy seeing it every night light up in my living room. This time of year is my favorite time of year because it starts to have cooler weather. It's not super sunny outside and I don't know about y'all but I much prefer gloomy days. I'm the opposite of like you know how people get seasonal depression. Well mine is in the summer and then I become so happy in the cooler seasons because it's kind of a lot more moody outside and darker inside. I just love it. I'm weird, but you know, all the best people are crazy. That's what I keep telling myself. And then the final thing I'm gonna do on here, aside from picks, is add these two witch's legs that I got from the Dollar Tree. So here's the tree so far. I love these little Dollar Tree legs sticking out of there. Okay, so I've got the scary skeleton up at the top as like a tree topper. And then we've got all our ornaments on mostly the front. <laughs> I don't have anything back here at all. I said it's cheaper that way if you just stick them all on the front. I really like this witch's garland right here. It's got a uh, velvet on the bottom and they're kind of like pillows got those at tj maxx um i don't know if y'all want me to do like just a walkthrough tour in another video so i can tell y'all where everything is from and link it all down below so let me know if you want me to do that but got all our ornaments on there now i'm going to i have a bag with this is for something else this bag is full of picks so i'm gonna put some of these orange picks on there and then i've still got whoops some of those pumpkins that just fell out everywhere um i've still got those but i have not done that up there yet which i'll probably use at least one one of these and one of the witches one so just like we did in the other bathroom i'm gonna save two of those for that so i can use these two and then i've got one more witch hat right there i can put in there too so i'm gonna put all these picks on the tree and then we'll see what it looks like Break it 
I can take it, I don't need a prize Leave out the fact that I am up against a thousand guys My intuition efficient cause I can use my mind See what it looks like now So that's their feet And then I just kind of popped these picks in where I thought they would go And then I've got these little picks too and the sparkly leaf right here some more of those like squiggly picks there's another pumpkin right there another pick kind of just sticking out of there and then got this orange super sparkly leaf and there's a witch hat somewhere oh I'll also put this pick here but it is more fall so I tried to cover it up with the black and then there's that witch's hat so tree's done now I just need to put a skirt on the bottom and then I'm thinking about putting this pillow because it's long down there almost as if it was like a gift just so it's not bare down there but we'll see You will see me add the pillow to the bottom of the tree, but I ended up using it in another place, which y'all will see closer to the end of the video. So I just stuck with this little witch thing down there, and then the white, I can't even think of what it is. It's basically just webbing. And the funniest thing is my dog is fascinated with that white web stuff down there and it's kind of sticky so it gets on her nose and then she gets frustrated with me i just think that's hilarious i never would have thought that a dog would mess with like stuff near a tree i've always thought it's just cats that do that but she's a little chihuahua so it kind of makes sense right so we're moving on to this little chair that we have had forever erin used to have to use this chair it's one of those that rotates up and down if you have trouble sitting down or getting up and before he had a hip replacement surgery he did struggle a lot with like getting up and down out of chairs but now he's had his hip replaced and if y'all don't know he has ankylosis spondylitis or ankylo it's really hard to pronounce but it's like a very rough arthritis it's an autoimmune illness that destroys your larger joints so it took one of his hips but he got it replaced and we don't have to have this chair anymore which i'm very thankful for because he takes shots every two weeks to help block his immune system from attacking him but we just we just keep the chair in case one day we may need it again god forbid but enough rambling i've got these two extra pillowcases and i'm trying to figure out what to do here so aaron's helping me i'm like does this look good does that look good and i'm like should i just do one pillow and then you can tell i'm like okay got it <laughs> he's so sweet like he he would rather just say yes or okay than to be like no i don't like it and i want him to be like don't do that it doesn't look good <laughs> i need help sometimes but now i'm just going to continue decorating i've kind of rambled a lot through this decorating but now we're going to work on the little tv stand right here which we're going to get a new one very soon i'm so excited because this one is falling apart at the bottom but I'm just going to use this creepy cloth that I got at the Dollar Tree and we're going to creep out our little TV stand.
I'm going way so I'm taking quite a while to decorate this little area but it is almost done I did want to share with y'all for the chair I forgot to mention that what I like to do for every season since the brown fabric on the chair is old and it doesn't really match anything in the rest of our house I always just like to cover it with a blanket depending on the season and then put a little pillow there to match the season as well and it just makes it seem a little more up to date and like a decor piece almost instead of just an old chair that doesn't really fit in with the rest of the house so forgot to mention that also don't ask what I'm doing here I really don't know <laughs> it's always an experiment like you kind of just play with things and then if it doesn't work you remove stuff you add stuff like it's kind of just almost like a game until you figure out how exactly you want it to go but everything is done now i'm so excited to show y'all the finished product and i hope you've enjoyed this video so far and all the tips i was able to give you and of course let me know your tips down below as well and how you like to decorate what was your theme this year ours i tried to do like a hocus pocus theme slash creepy skeleton slash what else do we do yeah creepy skeleton So we finally got the living room figured out. There was some things I was messing with. It, my camera does not know what to focus on. So you already saw the tree. This chair, I just put this black velvet blanket on it. I got from Hobby Lobby. That pillowcase was from the set of four from Amazon. Then I've got this orange velvety pumpkin right there sitting beside it, just so it kind of ties everything in. And over here, got some creepy cloth so that my gray bins don't look so stark and then I took one of those pumpkin picks and put it right there with a little creepy sign that was from Dollar Tree then down there it's just a box of fun so there's acorns that are sparkly jack-o-lanterns some leaves some witches hats and then I covered that up with some creepy cloth too and the orange paper shreds and then I really wanted to use this pillow but I really didn't have a place to put it so I just put it there it covered up some cords and then there is a witch's broom right there this is probably one of my favorite spots over here this I'll show you the witch in a second those are not sound effects it's behind me there's the little cheetah print blanket one of these velvet pumpkins i think is so pretty right there and then i got this pumpkin from hobby lobby and flipped it like that and then i got the other sanderson sisters pumpkin right there and then i've got me some sanderson sisters <laughs> it's not actually sanderson sisters but it is three witches and as you can see they make noise um but there that is. I think it's so cool. One of them's got a pumpkin hat. The other one has a bat. And then the other one has a spider. But how cool is that? And it will just play. So I kind of want to show y'all what it looks like in here while it's dark. Uh, it's a mood. <laughs> It is a mood. I'm so excited. Uh, it's not actually dark yet, but it is uh, six something at night. So how cool did all this turn out? And this does look pretty cool in the dark. So that's everything in the living room. And then we have an open floor plan so you can see our kitchen from the living room and you can see the living room in the kitchen so i forgot to put my camera stand up <laughs> anyways i hope
hope y'all enjoyed this video. Also, I didn't think I showed y'all, but I have a happy Halloween shirt on. I wanted to feel festive, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below if you're new so I can say hello to you. Um, and then if y'all have not yet seen Love Meg's Halloween Decorate with me, I will have her video linked down below. So definitely go check out her video as well and tell her I sent you if you have not subscribed to her channel yet. But without saying anything else, I hope you'll have a great day and I will see you back here very soon for another one. Don't forget to tell me if you want to see a Halloween tour, like just a walkthrough, because um, I can do that for y'all as well if you want. All right, bye. All right, y'all, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this 2021 look back and are excited for 2024 this year. And I will see y'all back here tomorrow with 2022.